Hey guys, welcome back to the Invincible! My name is Twitchy, playing the role of a Yasna, an astrobiologist working for the Commonwealth. Whilst out searching the convoy's vehicles, the enemy convoy's vehicles, Yasna discovered that the fruits found on the metal uh, plants can generate an uh, electromagnetic field. The Alliance has called them flies, and indeed, they seem to be some pretty nasty stuff, because all we found when we caught up with the enemy uh, convoy here is dead bodies. There's just dead bodies everywhere. We got in there, we had a had a look through the records that came with this particular rover uh, and and it was carnage it was absolute carnage there are little black specks that fly around everywhere cause damage to just everything all the all the uh, the robots go crazy the people have their brains wiped like some bad bad things go on on this planet and for some reason i've not decided to leave the planet i've decided to find out what's going on so let's see what this damaged transporter is about oh big lag I've located one of the transporters, sir. Please yes. don't celebrate yet, though. Something strange has happened to it. It's Get buried it again. Out. What's wrong with it? The outer shell is damaged. Oh, look, flies. Holes everywhere. Like from bullets? No. It looks like it's been corroded by strong acid. What looks like acid here? The, oh, look, we got a number. We'll, we'll take we'll take note of that. Of course, in our journal, if we open up here, we've got a whole list of all the things we've been looking for. Uh, and this one, TMU85? Yeah, TMU85 uh, is on the list as well. Just, just exploring this area. It's taken us the best part of an hour and 20 minutes to do so. But we have... Find, there, there's my rover. That little red thing down in the corner there. And this one is me. I really wish I'd come up around this way. But we didn't do that. For safety's sake, we came across the top. Uh, and now we have been stranded on this side. Away from my rover. It's kind of sad. Do I want to go into this area here? It feels super scary but i suppose that is kind of the point oh we've got we've got another dead body over here we've got another dead body who are you uh, i can't actually read some of these names let me get this out here it's, it's kind of difficult um i don't actually know how to say that c-s-t-e-r-h-a-s that chest yeah something like that anyway well yes person uh okay so that this this is bad i'm, I'm really not feeling the fact that everybody is dead around here. Okay, this is a pathway. I, I've, I've got to find out. Oh, look, we've got a new force field. Okay, that's fine. Still not sure whether force fields are supposed to be wowing me or whether that's just a thing. Uh, bushes. Bushes already protrude from the holes. They do indeed protrude from the holes. There's bushes again. Come on, Novik, put it together. I thought it was all coming together. Maybe the bushes made the hole? out that bushes can consume metal to build their own tissue. Maybe that's what's happened here. Bushes ate the metal shell. Where did they come from in the first place? I admit, they evolved? It's puzzling. Hmm. It's, it's interesting. It's interesting. I mean, you know, they're, they're making it out like, oh my god, the metal things eat the metal to live. I mean, we are flesh things. We eat the flesh to live. So I don't I don't understand why that's so shocking. Uh, there's a big red button that I can't press there. Okay, fair enough. Oh, what have we got going around? There's a lead that you tell me I can't pull that lever to turn that turn that um, force field off over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this handle for now. Oh no, it's not. It's a key. They left the key in the in the door again. They, this crew, they're really bad at it. They they really just expected the no one to, to be here. The cargo bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. Oh look, there's a robot in there. That is terrifying. Terrifying. Can I move? Am I, am I moving or am I just holding? I think I'm just holding. This is dark in here. It's too awkward to squeeze in. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It is very awkward. I don't like what I see, though. The whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. So many bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite uh, yet. Do I, do I have a light? Is there a light I can use? That, that would be handy. What? Oh, we got a flare. Maybe a bit much. Maybe a bit much. No. Now? Now what? Now what do we see? Um... Crushed containers. I should probably get my my we binoculars can see out. Containers. Yes. And? No sign of the flies. Oh, they came yeah, out of the containers. Oh, they took a sample. You have some theory, sir. I, of course, Everything I have some theory. Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. Yep, yep. I'm, I'm all about the absurd. I'd love to hear it, even if I. You go ahead, sir. God. As I see it, no idea is too absurd right now. I haven't quite thought it through. Not yet. Maybe after I listen to your assessment. Well, look, I think it might work like this. Yeah. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. <clears throat> I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. 
just like the fruits. Yes. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects, and the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession, well, yeah, I am a biologist. That you are confident that this can be a life form. Ah, oh, sort of. More and more so, yeah. Given the age of the oldest fawns and the evidence of continued activity, differentiation, a particular drive towards miniaturization, improvement, and lethal effectiveness. Is, th is that part of being alive? We are lethal effectiveness. With an evolution here, far longer than that of human. Also very different and dead. Are they dead? Really? I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate, form bushes, absorb raw material and they are again ready to transform and relocate to a new source just like and mushrooms so and spores so and growth easy and i can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being i've ever heard of no, with all the all. skepticism that comes with it okay all right okay we got we got some ideas about what this is why couldn't i take the note of that over there it's just like now movement and actually uh, oh no it's not going to let me do anything other than press z really even though i saw that over really I can see it though. Why won't you let me now click it? I feel a little hard done by there. I wanted to listen to everything that they said, and now because of that, I've not been able to tick tick the old robot off on the journal. Um, I, I don't even know if I can see a number. We've got a zoom button here. Let's let's try and get a good look on what's going on. Uh, there there is a name. It's been taken away from me. Solid. Uh, a N. Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what that number is, but I think we've got it. Let's let's have a look in the journal. Uh, we've got to come out of here. We have a look in the journal. There's robots somewhere. AR cat is one of these two. It's one of these two, and we're not going to get it crossed off. I, I feel yeah. I feel like they they did me a dirty there. I feel like they did me a day. Okay, we're still looking for um something with the flies inside that is our objective i found another container buried deep deep in the sand i don't know what my maximum climb gradient is it turns out that's too much but that's fine all right that that's something we can deal with glass dome glass dome okay it looks well, let's get the number first this time i'm not gonna not gonna get <laughs> cheated out of my my little cutscene here Okay, so this is buried and we can't really see much. I do note that it's not covered in bushes or erupting with flies. So I, I think this one might not have had the same sample. Ooh, can we can we go in? Can we go in? Can't go in this side. Okay, that's a thing, I suppose. Just going to do a quick once round. No, all the doors are closed. Yes, now, focus. What now? I am focusing. How dare you? I am trying to find out what is going on here. It's a very um, hard to see. Oh, there, there. We've got some focus. I, I don't, I don't see anything here. I think this is just an empty place. Okay, moving on. Oh, it's quiet. It's very, very quiet. So we can't change the foot. Wait, can I walk into the, the force field? No. No, here's. Fo Wait a m minute. Wait a minute, look at the way the sand is piled up here. It's been a long time. I, I think that's what we need to just go with here. It's been a long, long time. Let's look at the melted rocks the first. force field melted adjacent rocks. They had to run the generator on full power. They were defending themselves after all. From the swarm of flies, I presume. One we would don't know assume. how large it was. They didn't capitulate, that's a good sign. Well, I don't know that. So far, I can only confirm that the field has not dissipated. Yet. I'm not... <clears throat> I'm not going to try and open this and let a whole bunch of flies out, am I? Like that? The second transporter is under a force field. It's hovering above the ground. Still. So it is operational. Probably also in better shape than the other one. We hope. Oh, it certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact, then. 
Okay, and there's a emitter over there. Find a path to get under the force field. Nice that you say the word under. Look, shield breach. Over. There are powerful emitters in the center. Similar to those on Energobots. Emitters only? Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Yes. Yeah. Then you're looking at the top of the Energobot. Well, look carefully. Anogobots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters protrude from the surface. Okay. Ah, got it. And so what? And so what? I'm not sure what that's going to do for us. Uh, EBT05. Okay, that's cool. We got this one marked off. Has it marked these down? I don't know. I don't know. But I, we see the breach. Anyway, over there, there was a breach. Uh, it's not there. It is shield breach. I know how to get inside. Do you? Under this field. Will you dig a tunnel? Sort of. <laughs> I won't have to. There's already an entrance. I just need to get to it. Just need to figure out. If only, if only we had seen a tunnel earlier on. Let's let's get a move on. Let's get get running. Uh, well, a canyon, a crack, a crack, a crevice. Uh, I'm gonna go just quickly try to stick my head back in here. Yeah, no, it's it still won't let me write down the number. Very very sad. Very sad indeed. Uh, okay, let's go and up and through this little little canyon here. I mean, what could possibly go wrong running into uh, unprotected alien ca uh, cavern landscape? It's gonna be... I mean, we don't know how stable this place is. Like, look at this. The, the disgusting... Well, I mean, it's okay. But it looks like there's a bunch of sand everywhere, which is gonna make me fall. I'm not about it. It's loose stuff. I can't look in any other direction. I can't, like, turn around and have a look. That's that's a shame. That's a shame. I wanted to look into the pit as I was travelling, but I suppose they're like, no, no, we haven't we haven't designed the bottom of the pit. We're not gonna give you the view angle. We're just gonna have a wall that goes down far too far. I was like, okay, fair, fair, fair. Alright, what what have we got round here? Still no dead body. I was kind of expecting another dead body here. Journal has been updated. This down here? What are we what are we what are we looking at? There's like wiggles on the map that make me feel a little bit not too safe. That there's a probe. Hello! Astrogator, I found their probe. It's not Looks older. Like it hid from the flies, or just ended up here by pure luck. Luck, indeed. Uh, Registry could be valuable, especially if it managed to photograph everything from a greater distance. Yeah, like super helpful. It appears to have a gun pointed at me. I'm a little bit worried about that. Um, let's just have a look. See here. No, no, I want to bring the focus back. There's a button to do that somewhere. There it is. It's a camera. It's okay. We're all right. P2. Hello, P2. How are you doing? You their second probe. Yeah, you're looking good. You're looking danger around each uh, each jet port there. I like that. I like that. I hadn't noticed that on the previous probes. Okay. Um, hey, can I touch you? Oh, come here, little probie. Yeah, cool. cool oh, probe. He, he's literally I leading me. Is it scared of you too? I don't know. <sighs> I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. No, I won't be able to bring the probe down unless I find a working controller. Just wanted to have a look back here. Also, their Geiger clicks. Anybody else notice that things have been getting a bit clicky as we've been moving? I don't know whether that's radio interference or whether we're about to walk into a, a blasted hole okay so we came from there we went to explore over there there was nothing we're going to follow the probe now and just see if there's anything going on what is this ah oh, it's it's another crew member just gonna leave them face down in the dirt like that turns out didn't didn't even turn them over to look we're just like yep take them out of that moving on okay fair enough i i'm still <sighs> i got inside the field oh this feels terrible do you copy, sir? I don't feel great about it. The force field doesn't block radio waves. Why not? What, is, what does it block? I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transport. Yeah. You'll have the flies in large numbers and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the force field. So first, the Energobot... Turning off the force field, then transporter. Departure. All clear? Okay, I think I got it. Uh, it's a good plan. All good and clear as the sky is blue. It's a great Just sky. Just waiting for things to go sideways. 
Exactly. Uh, I mean, whilst that is a solid plan, and I, I would oh, never you. question the astrogator, I want to follow the probe. Yep, it's here. What's it doing? I need to look at it. I need to... Hey, 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 little probe. What we got? The last one was, um, Olga. Are you an Ivor? Something like that. Hey, come, come here. Come, mate, come here. No, he's just not, not about it, is he? Let's see if we can't... I, I feel like it's much more interesting to follow the probe than it is to try and do... Try to try and get the research materials, you know what I'm saying? Like, who who cares about research materials? So they burnt that back, but there's still sand on the floor. I would have expected that to be rock on the floor, but, you know, who, who knows how deeply the level designers thought about this. I'm just doing a quick lap around the circumference. I'm not feeling like we're going to find anything amazing, but do you know how much I'd kick myself if there was something out here that we missed? Uh, I would really have loved to have had the rover here so that we could travel just a little bit faster maybe have a little bit of music talk to talk to Olga on the dashboard even though I don't know whether we're supposed to think that Olga is respons responsive as we put her in the dashboard of our rover Olga being an old probe that we had that unfortunately got wiped out by enemy fire um, that, that happens to some of the robots here they, they they go insane and try to kill everything or they just shut down okay so we got the uh, the rest of the ergobot here that's fine we've got literally just a door let's let's get in like this can we turn nice and pull that do it that uh look there's a human foot there like a real foot hello who are you corpse just as i thought the equipment's still active but Everyone here is dead. Is that a fusion core? Is that... It looks like it might be a fusion core in there. Shield power... Um, what, what are you? Uh, oh! Oh, oh, wait, 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 it's an, an, an Take or whatever his name was. Like, we, 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 we heard this guy on the radio, or at least on the logs from the radio, a while ago. I like the flashing lights. I don't think they're doing anything other than flashing, though. Alright, let, let's hit the, the shield power. Let's turn it down. No, up. Do I have to go up? The field is no longer a problem. Disabled. Was it a problem in the first place? Perfect. All that's left is to get the flies out of there. Uh, that sounds terrifying. I don't know if that's what... Where's, where's the... I came out of here because I was like, wait, there was a whole bank of sand, right? That... It was all leaning up against the wall. Now it's kind of fallen down here. I suppose that makes sense to the slopes, but uh, it's not going to let me back up. That still looks weird. I mean, I, w I wouldn't know what a force field burnt rock should look like, but it, uh, I don't know. It looks weird to me. It looks weird. Okay, how do we climb up this thing? Do I want to climb? Wait, there, there was something else inside. There was something before before I get sidetracked. This, we surely we're going to go inside the fusion reactor that's been on forever. I sure the tritium or whatever levels in here aren't untenable. Why am I in here? What what have I done this for? This sound. This feels like a bad place to be. But also because of that, you know, given the game that I'm playing, feels like the place I should be. What is this? Is that just bad terrain clipping? Could be. Could be. All right, that's the once round. My oh, I oh, know. I thought this was a different bit. Once round, mildly terrifying. Maybe we'll go back in. I'd like to close the door again. I don't know why this game won't let me seal up places after I've looking, looked at it. Been close. Send shivers down your spine. It's more than that. It's definitely more than I'm that. I'm starting to understand the suffering they felt in their final moments. Do you? They were left to fend for themselves. Yet, unable to do so. This one man... He even ate parts of his suit, trying to survive. Okay, this glove 
he tried to eat the leather because what else it must have been locked in here for a while just relying on the shield but then they came came in from underneath and then he couldn't get out of there yeah it does sound pretty messed up it does sound pretty messed up let's see if we can't get out of here this way can I grab <coughs> I I just I want it to be known on the I'm record that I feel like this is a terrible idea. Before you leave them, please check that the cargo is intact. Of, of course, Astrogaea, I will check the cargo. Oh my gosh, this is terrifying. Can we just look through? Do I have to open the door? Am I not, am I not just opening up the horrors by opening up the door? Um... A little bit worried. I can't turn around and see what that noise was behind me. So I guess we'll just open the door. Oh. I blinks and things are different. What's going on here? Okay. Alright, I thought it was night time. I was about to give a whole whoa moment because outside just seemed different. But I think we're okay for now. I don't want to go in there. I don't, I don't, I don't. All good. Probe, hello. I hope. Will this really help our people, Astrogator? Will, will this help it anyone? Will, I'm sure. Why? Why are you sure? How are you sure? Well, off we go. Um. Yasna, what are you wondering about? Oh, maybe. What I'm... if we're making a mistake? Maybe I shouldn't take the flies off Regis. Maybe it's better to leave them alone, here where they belong. What are you? I just worry that we might spread this threat. You know. And the tragedy of one planet becomes a tragedy of entire galaxies. Not to mention all humanity. Forgive me, Doctor, but that sounds a bit overdramatic. We can handle some mechanical flies. <sighs> I mean, maybe uh, you're right, but who knows? Maybe you're right, sir. I tend to assume the worst case scenario, but not without reason, may I add? Yeah, like. Anyway. Before I go on my merry way, I'd like to see them up close. Very well. Just hurry up. I mean, I feel like I should just... Oh, oh press the wrong button by accident. I feel like I should just open the box. Let's let's have a look. Samples? Of, oh, no, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I, I, could, just, I could just get in the, in the car and drive. <laughs> can I leave? Can I, can I go? <laughs> oh, this... This is it. This this is where the game turns from a thriller to a horror, right? Where we stop wondering what the bag... Oh, it's full of sand. Oh. I was about to say we stop wondering what the bad guy looks like and then suddenly I'm facing the bad guy. That's... It's just sand. What? Oh. It moves. Oh, there they are. They're almost like little cow trops or whatever. I must admit... They do. Is this glass strong enough? Yasna, what have you done? I've had a look. I'm watching them. Nothing more. Don't worry, sir. You wanted me to make sure they're fine? Some goddamn black holes up there in the strength spot. Can you say not to worry? Some what? Look outside, Doctor. Shoot for yourself. Can I put these away nicely first? Yes. No, close the box, Yasna. Why don't they ever want to close the boxes? I, do, I just don't, I don't get these horror protagonists okay let's go see what we can see maybe how large a group of these flies could be I can tell you it can be gigantic yeah, pretty, pretty large yeah what am I gonna do uh, they want me to get out of here. Okay. I pass out. Oh, I'm in, I'm in something. We're going? What What are we going to do? Like, in, in actual honesty, what are we going to do? I'm pressing left and right and forwards and trying to avoid any rocks that I see. We've passed out again. This, this is bad. Yeah. Oh, green. Is green a nice colour to be having here? Is this what we actually want? Turning again. Hide! Oh, we're about to fall down something, aren't we? Oh, it's bad times. 
What is going on? Is this bad ending? Have I found bad ending here? And I'm out. I'm unconscious in the desert again. Yay. <laughs> um, are they avoiding me? Do they like me? Am I, am I their new queen? Is that what's going on? It's all gone white. I don't... Is this the end? Is that everything? Mm, it's been 30 seconds now and I've hammered a lot of buttons. <laughs> Oh, oh, we're in with some sound. What is going on? What is going on? Ah! Hello? Hello. Dragonfly. I, I fell, but everything's alright. Is it? I'm fine. Oh, shit! They're alive. It's all alive. Something's flying out of them. Wow, this is actual issues. Those creatures. Oh yeah, Zelda, we They're can do it. it. Yes. Like we know. I think I think we gathered that. We gathered that. Oh Yasna, you can do it. Stay with us. Fuck! The same thing over and over again. No wonder we finally ran out of luck. Too much of this damn curiosity. I'm, I'm alive. I don't know if I should interrupt your uh, speech, sir. It is quite interesting to listen to. Yes, sir. This is too much. I see how many times already. There's a couple. Oh, I can't. I can't hold down the spec. What is going on with this? Shit. It's the last time. Should I apologise for sir? Uh, this is the last time. Uh, the fourth time. If I counter correctly? Yeah, maybe the fourth time. But I'm not planning another. The first four weren't planned either. At least we learnt the truth about this planet. Have we learned any truth? And the inorganic beings that inhabit it. What good does that do us, though? We know the cause of the stupor. Maybe we can find a way to cure our people. If anyone from the Alliance survived, and they already started their research into oh, a cure... Oh, it's been so long. I wouldn't count on it. It's more likely they're all dead. Not necessarily. Why? How? It's a large base, and I only found a few bodies. The rest of them must be somewhere. Or oh, you'll find more corpses, Yasna. Lots of corpses. That That's my choice, uh, my, my guess. There's no balloon. Wait, what? Hey! Something changed. The balloon over the base disappeared. You mean it flew away, or did it fall to the ground? I don't know, it's just oh, gone. I hope it's a latter. If it caught the west wind... It would have fallen in this area. What's that? I was about to say, what's this over here? And it's like, here, look over this way. Well, it's a good job. Uh, how do we zoom? This is the zoom. Uh, it's a good job I can do this ahead of time. We're, We're lucky. lucky. Are we? It's hanging from a cliff, close to the ground. Can you get to it? Unhook it. Maybe. It's a bit of a distance, but I think we probably can. Hook. Maybe that won't be necessary. Why why do you say that? She says some weird stuff and then just expects us to understand. I, I don't I don't know what like, wow, what what are we even looking at here? I'm trying to change my zoom, trying to get an idea of what we're supposed to be looking at. It's pointing us in a weird direction. Oh, shit. Somebody's here. Are there? If all you're seeing is dots on the tracker. No. I can see them with my own eyes. Can you? Two of them even. Two people alive. I mean, so she says. Where did they go? Have you lost them? Well, I can't see them now. They were here just a second ago. Were they? I think she's crazy. Are you sure? What did they look like? One was wearing an Alliance suit, a green one. How did she know this? The other one, I don't know. He looked different. I see. And now they are nowhere to be found. Damn right. No. Oh, just a moment ago, my consciousness was over the ocean. I saw a big black cloud that appeared out of nowhere, which I then forgot. And now these ghosts. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The sight of them was so vivid. Just for a moment, 
I've been looking for someone for so long. I suggest focusing on what's certain. That balloon is still there, is it not? If it had operational cameras, we might get some answers. You don't have to convince me, Astrogator. I'm going. The rover is nearby if needed. Good to know. Is it? Who, who's been Thank you. putting my rover in places? Okay, so that's where feeling? we're going. I'm feeling terrible. How are you feeling? Let me just say this. Literally everything hurts. Everything. I don't know where frustration ends and a contused lung begins. But at least... Yes. I'm alive. Are you... Are we not just walking around in purgatory at this point? Recover recordings from the balloon wreckage. And I think with that, I am going to say thank you very much for this, uh, for joining me for this adventure. I don't, uh, do I want to make this, uh, I've met this cloud before. I know the cause of my memory loss. You know what, sir? That whole incident at the quick. start of my journey. Yes, I remember. I got badly hurt back then and I damaged the radio. Yes. And you lost your memory. The thing is, it wasn't the real cause. There were bushes there too. Remember, sir? Just after the fall, the same black cloud of flies gathered above me. They subjected my brain to an electromagnetic field. You wiped your brain. Yes, now that's what you suspect. I know it. The memory of that event came back to me. So it was the flies all along. It's always been the, the flies. As well. Yes. And that antimat and the tunnels and the whole convoy. It happened to all of them. And with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you guys next time. And we're going to go find that balloon. And we're going to see what's up. We're going to try and get into our rover. And avoid these flies. I think avoiding these flies might be a good one. So I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.